Brady M67 here with a new, uh, well, I guess Minecraft, but Tech It video today. And uh, today I'm going to talk about some uh, update on my previous updates that I talked about. And uh, I want to show you something that I got. And, uh, <coughs> sorry. The uh, first thing I want to say is uh, last I talked to you guys, I said I was going to be doing more videos on the computer because of, uh, you know, better, my computer being better. But that's not going to happen because I upgraded my RAM, but it turns out my processor is a piece of shit. So even though I upgraded to 12 gigs of RAM, my processor is holding back my computer. So I was going to get a new one, but AMD, no, Intel i7 processors just take AMD and put them on the ground and rape them. Intel are just too good. So I'm just going to wait until I get into college. So one more year and I am going to build my own computer and just annihilate this one that I have right now but uh what I want to show you is this baby right here the red guitar this thing is ridiculous I don't know why we have this Tyler made this and we can't enchant stuff in it so but uh, okay if you're wondering what this enter what this is it's called an interdiction torch keeps monsters from staying in that area because as you can see let's see how many mobs are spawned down here oh 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 here I just want to show you the interdiction torch see it's not coming up here see it can't jump up here but uh I'm gonna wait until more mobs spawn so I'm just gonna go ahead and wait here in the meantime hmm yes quiet I will show you around my farm uh well you know this is a pretty standard farm but I came up with this idea on my own, but obviously other people probably come up with it. Just pistons to push up the uh, <clears throat> blocks. And uh, I'm almost 100% sure that somebody else has come up with that before, but I've never bothered to look it up. So, But uh, yeah, that's my farm. And then uh, hmm, I got the cactus farm, which I just harvested. And then, uh, ooh, I could show you, I would show you the trading center, but Tyler has to operate it. And, oh, here, while I'm here, I'll show you this. Put it down. This isn't just, here, let me just make all these, uh, the red guitar, I'll show you, is also a hoe. And if it weren't, and if it was charged up all the way, like, all of these would have out here would have been, uh, I can't remember the term for it. But, uh, yeah, they would have turned into farmland. And then, uh, these gl this glowstone is here because of, uh, ice, as you can see. I am in a snow biome, and, uh, right there it said ice plains. And, uh, yeah, this, yeah, that's pretty much it. That goes up all the way. That's all filled with oil. And then I have all those oil tankers filled with fuel. But yeah, here, I'll go over here and show you this uh, trading center that Tyler made. Whee! Okay. Um, if you come in here, Tyler's a monster. Okay, that light turns on for whenever it's trading center is on or off. We might do a tech it series for this, but uh, yeah. These, uh, the pistons open up. And then you can, I'm going to take that out of there. It's kind of like this person is trading with this person so uh or you're just trading directly with the person in here what it does is he's a monster and put iron doors there so that whenever you go in you cannot leave until the trade is complete so uh yeah and i hate it when it rains hold on Let me change that back no we did not cheat any for any of the stuff that i have the only thing that I do is day-night cycles, but pretty much all that does is save 20 seconds of going to the beds, and, uh, you know. But, uh, for the most, for pretty much everything, haven't been cheating. Okay, I'm just gonna drop this, I don't need it. Um, I'm gonna go down here now and show you guys what this is capable of. I have no more torches. Hmm. Didn't know that. Okay. Now let me charge this up all the way. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, there's still not that many mobs. Whatever. Boom. Boom. 
Boom. Boom. Boom. Done. Hold on. This guy's still alive. Everything is dead. Oh. Look at this. This is ridiculous. I could just stay down here and gather experience. Now you might be wondering if you don't play tech it, how are they just dying? I'll see this this red guitar, which is mixed with the get out of here. I'm gonna hit a creeper. Which is mixed with the red matter sword and the dark matter sword. Has what am I being hit by? Another skeleton spawn. God stop it. Get out of here. Alright, I'm gonna go back up and I will show you what I'm trying to explain. Okay. So what I was trying to explain before was if I show you this, it is made with red matter sword, red matter hoe, red matter axe, and a red and red matter shears. And that's all four of those tools combined into one. Now to get a grip exactly for you guys, how expensive this stuff is to make if you don't play Tegit, um you need to make uh you need two red matter and a dark matter sword. Now, to make one dark matter sword, it's one diamond and two dark matter. And to make a piece of dark matter, you need these Aeternalis fuels, which as you can see have Mobius fuel and then a coal. So it takes four coal to make one of these. And then that it turns into the Aeternalis fuel. And then it just stacks ridiculously. And you need a block of diamond, as you can see, to simply make one piece of dark matter. And then to make red matter, you need three dark matter and these Aeternalis fields, which have the same EMC as a piece of diamond, which is 8,000. So that's expensive. And then, uh... Ooh, I got an enchanted bit for that thing. Oh, power one. Okay. Oh, hold on. I have a chest down here for, uh... Mob loots. Or mob drops, rather. Okay. You might be saying <clears throat> that my voice sounds different. It's because I'm tired. I'm starting school soon. I'm trying to get my sleeping schedule in order. I used to not be tired at this time, but now I get tired at 1 o'clock. It's whatever. I should be getting tired way earlier. But, yeah. And then, uh, here I'll sh come down here and show you my quarry set up here. I have water for putting it into lava. As you can see, my quarry's going very fast. And then it goes into these teleport pipes. Ooh, it's gathering coal. Hmm, yeah, it's quiet. The teleport pipe comes over to here. And the gold pipe sends it shooting up. And then, uh, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I've showed all of you guys this before. And then I have these combustion engines that are going. And wow, they're almost used up already. But, good thing I have all of this wonderful oil. And I also have a lava fabricator. I'm probably also going to make an oil fabricator if I ever run out of oil. But if you watch the other episode, go, if, if you haven't, go watch it. I show you the biggest oil well that I'm pretty sure it's ever generated in Tekkit. And if not, that's ridiculous if somebody else found a bigger one. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you how ridiculous I think this weapon is OP. Because it can just one-hit everything. Except for Enderman. Can't one-hit Enderman. I don't think anything in the game can do that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's the glitch or not. Anybody tell me. But, uh, when you go into the end, all that generates is a 5x5 five five square of obsidian. And that's it. I, uh, don't know if it's, like, a glitch... But, uh, oh, yeah, and then this thing is, uh, these three things put together. But, uh, yeah. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you know if there's, like, a fix for it or anything, please tell me. But, uh, yeah, that's the end of this video. Click the like button. If you liked it, click the subscribe button if you want to support my stuff and follow me. And, uh, yeah, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. See you later.